Hey everybody, Grant here and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Last time we left off, um, we made out of the gift shop and Doug died. We chose Carly over Doug. So yeah, let's get to work. This game's pretty sad. So they kind of have a setup now. Poor Lee. I feel bad for him. Oh, so what do we do? We just walk around talking to people, I guess? Hey, Glenn. Hey. Huh. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. Yeah. When we left a few days ago. Could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Come on, Glenn. Don't go. I don't want Glenn to go. I kind of like Glenn. I think you're making the wrong call. I just don't Maybe. like. I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. Yeah. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up if they go from upstairs. Are yeah. you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Yeah. Anyway, see you around. See you, Glenn. I think this is the last that we see of Glenn. Kinda sucks. Cause I kinda liked him. But no, everybody's just casual about it. Like, oh, one of our survivors hey, is just gone. Close call back there. Yeah. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah. yeah. We do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. Yeah. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Hope so. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah, thanks, Kenny. You got it. I'm gonna try to be nice to Kenny for the rest of the game. I gotcha. Oh, there's Carly. Let's talk to her. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. okay. Sorry, I'm yeah, like considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We Sorry. couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. Yeah, he's right. Not stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sure. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. Yeah. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Yeah. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Yeah. Me too, Carly. Me too. Me th me three, guys. Let's go over to Clem and Duck. Clem doesn't like Duck, I don't think. He's annoying. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh... 
You want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. It's okay, Duck. I like him. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Oh. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, oh. come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Hey, Lair Lair. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. Ah, oh, duck. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck uh, you, Lee. Well, that's mean. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. You go near my daughter or step on a line once. So will everyone else. Yeah. I know who you are. Yeah. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Larry sucks. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. Yeah. You can't be like that. You're only one man. Mm. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor is yeah. pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Yeah. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah. yeah you're right. He's right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Or not. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna do. Ooh, let's watch this. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. Yeah. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Why to Herschel? I was honest. Decker Sean. Huh. I, sometimes I wonder what it'd be like to pick some stuff. Huh. Yeah. yeah, I gave Irene the gun. A lot of people chose Carly. Nice. Awesome. Well, the thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to um, episode 2 of The Walking Dead. Just because this was a really short episode, I don't want to deal with that. I want this to be like 40 minutes, man. 
So I'm gonna pause until the credits are done. Be right back. Okay, guys, we're back, and let's see how this turns out. S episode 2, Starved for Help. Hope you guys enjoy this. Oh, no. What's happening? Oh. Let's see. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> son of a bitch. One of them is fit. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Well, that isn't good. Yep. Story tailored by how you play. Looks like it's fall. Sounds like zombies. No, there's Lee. On a zombie. Ooh, three. Oh. Three months later. Oh, who's this? Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Ew. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Uh. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but oh, I'll take Mark. It. We're all hungry. No kidding. So this is Mark. I wonder where he came from. When I accidentally from. grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Yeah. We'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. Yeah. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor. Room. Well, I think it'd be tense you know, after Kenny's three months. Kenny's talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't, Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems I like don't he's know. got a problem with you in particular. Mm-hmm. Uh well, because we side with uh... He thinks I'm a danger to the group. And yeah. Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. Yeah. The way Lily worries about his health. I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. Yeah, that's probably what's I know what's Lily happening. thinks he's getting weaker. But the guy's all muscle. Huh? He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Mm. I just don't like Larry. He sucks. Don't we're so Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Yeah, I would. What was that? Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! What was that?
Oh no. Tense. It didn't sound like Kenny though. No, that doesn't, and it doesn't have Kenny's subtitle. Nope, it's free dudes. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Oh my God. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. I'm not, not gonna, gonna hurt, hurt you. you. Don't listen to him, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. He's fucked up. He's gotta yeah. help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. Huh? I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Eh. We'll try. Gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, God. Oh. Up, Walker. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, okay. keep those walkers off of me. Oh, no. Lee, do something to cut you out. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. We're sorry, buddy. Jane. Oh, that's gross. Let's go! Let's go! Uh. Uh. Lee, it has to be now! Have to do this! Okay. Okay. This seems like it's been a... Well, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Yes. Ugh, gross. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Oh god. That's gross. Poor dude. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Let's do this. Oh nice. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Run, Travis! Oh, Travis, you're stupid. No! There goes Travis. Well, that's pretty tense. For a beginning. Oh. Starved for help. There's Lair Lair. Larry. Oh, there's blood on that pallet. Where'd they get the soccer ball from? <sighs> this is sad. It's it's still good to see a father daughter bond though. I wonder. Open. We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, hell what's what's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people yeah. here! What are you thinking? 
Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, your I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We uh. are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. Yeah. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've yeah. got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. Yeah. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Yeah. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn okay. Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. Yeah. You know, it might feel safe for yeah. you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Yeah. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, okay. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. This is the part of the game that's kind of rough. For ten hungry people. Oh, God. Ah, oh, why is this so sad? Oh, God. This hurts. Oh god. I'm starting to cry. I'm gonna give them I'm gonna give them to Clementine. How are you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Oh. Can you help me find it? Yeah. Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Um. Crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food. Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? I'm gonna give some to the children. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? Ah, <laughs> that face. Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Hey, man, how you doing? Want something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Mm -hmm. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh, okay. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Not screw it. I am giving it to Larry. 
I feel like he needs to trust us a little bit more. Or he might kill us or some crap like that. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, Larry. I hope you don't think this makes us friends. I could have gave you nothing. <sighs> yeah. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Sorry, Mark. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Uh, Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? That's not what I meant. No? <laughs> then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. Okay. Ah, oh, Larry. <laughs> that was funny, he just like, just kind of backed away. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Yeah. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Uh. Hey. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Mm. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Wait, what? Is he mad? I don't even know. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let, him, Let go. him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Yeah. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Yeah. What about the other kid? Well, <laughs> Cupid. <laughs> Down. You're gonna get us all killed! <sighs> Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the uh -huh. hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. What? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. That sucks. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides... Everything was making more of them. When I first yeah. saw it happen... We were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. 
A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Oh. Whoa, lady, relax! Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Cliffhanger. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. We ended up killing a guy and found out some more news. So that's really bad. Any way you die, you come back. That's bad. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I sure did. And I will see you all next time. Bye.